Hello, this is Dr. Liu, and in this video, I want to show you how to connect the um, SDI-12 USB adapter to a Raspberry Pi. And this is actually a physical connection, I just mean, how do they connect? Well, it's easy if you have one of these bigger ones. This is Raspberry Pi 3, and that's indicated by this big uh, full-size HDMI connector here. So you have the, your full-size USB. So that's all you have to do. Take the uh, the latest version of my adapter, micro USB, and then you can connect to it. This is pretty straightforward. It doesn't matter which port, um, just connect like this. And uh, what if you have uh, uh, one of these? This is a Raspberry Pi Model A, which is a, uh, a smaller and inexpensive version of the Model B. It only has this one USB port, of course, you can do this, but what if you want to, uh, say, uh, use your... Uh, hmm, what happened to this board? Oh, I see. There's a little issue with this port here. I think one of the tabs has got pushed down. Okay, let's make sure we don't force a connector in. Okay, there we go. There. So if you have only one port and you want to use a, a keyboard and mouse, well, you can uh, use a hub. Uh, I bought this from uh, from Adafruit, so it's got its a Manhattan brand. It's a, it's a seven port um, hub, and there's two more. So it's pretty nice. I would use this also with an external power supply, which comes with the, uh, the hub. It's a five volt power supply. I believe it is a one amp. So, okay, still easy, understandable. What if you have one of these? Um, well, because we know that Raspberry Pi 4s are uh, regularly out of stock and uh, it's ex expensive to buy those, uh, those sellers from those sellers who are selling super kits for uh, $200 maybe, sometimes like that. So if you end up with a Raspberry Pi Zero, this is the earlier Zero version, and it could also be the 0W with the wireless. So uh, your options are, well, there, there are two options. So one of these two USB, micro USB ports is a power only. But it's easy to spot that because you see this one has a lot of these capacitors around. This is actually for power. It only uh, is uh, for power. This, on the other hand, it's got a, a USB OTG on the go port. So it could be a device and in this case, you want it to be a host to host the uh, these adapters. So what you need is uh, something like this. This is a U Green brand I bought from Amazon. So uh, one side features this micro USB plug. The other side is a socket of regular USB A. So once you plug this in, uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero will act as a host, and it can host one device here. So just like this and then you can connect your adapter again because there's only one port you may want to add a, um, a hub just to, to add to uh, things like keyboard and mice and other things like maybe ethernet connection if you prefer um, and this i have it set up slightly differently so there's another option here as you can see there's actually a stack of two boards so uh, the bottom the black board here let's see what this is called um, USB hub uh, hat for Raspberry Pi 0 version 1.3, that's the latest version, and the Pi 0W. So this is a USB hub, and uh, what it does is it breaks out 1, 2, 3, and the f uh, where is that fourth one? Four USB ports, just like a regular USB hub with four ports, and uh, the up link to this board is right here it's difficult to see so I, i'll just point and um, here's a couple of black posts and uh, there's some shiny contacts on the top these shiny contacts are uh, pogo pins so what pogo pins are they uh, they are like, just like pogo sticks they they're they are there's they have basically two parts one part is spring loaded uh, against the other part so you can push push it down and in this case, it makes good contact, electrical contact, against a couple of test pads that connect to this USB port. 
so uh, you don't have to use a um, USB OCG dongle and then connect to it you just uh, make sure that these two posts are uh, pushing against the two circular paths right here under the USB ports and that should be good enough you just have to secure them together because this is spring loaded you have to uh, put the standoffs in so this is one uh, useful uh, uh, little board hat and there's also an, another couple of of pogo pins here for power and ground so that's one option and uh, it still maintains the, uh, the 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 zero or zero w form factor and makes it easy for you to connect up to four devices so all you have to do is just plug one in and uh, it's the same as having this and uh, maybe half of that so that's a good deal in my opinion um so this is just a zero w i have it in a in a, in a box the box is nice it's, it's original raspberry pi uh, official enclosure for a zero so there's a little symbol here uh, difficult to see okay there you go the usb port Right, this this is power only. So this this kind of tells you this micro USB port is only for supplying power, and the other one is uh, capable of USB communication. That's the HDMI mini. Uh, so if you have one of these cases, it helps you identify which port is the one that you need to use the uh, USB OTG in case you need you want to use that. So uh, there you go. So that's that's how you would do it. I like this little case it kind of hides away the other uh, raspberry pi zero it doesn't get short circuited and then you can just do the same thing this is just a, a one port only or if you prefer having your keyboard and mouse and other things you uh, you need a, um, a hub at least a, a four port hub let's refocus Okay, so this concludes our uh, short video of how to physically connect a Raspberry Pi and uh, the SDI-12 adapter. And in the next video, I'll show you, once you have it connected, how would you um, um, configure it? And maybe we should start with uh, how do you actually get a, uh, an image on the Raspberry Pi or Pi Zero, and then uh, how to configure it from there to start uh, logging data. Thanks.